Hey Vikes, today we'll be looking at the new movie, Infinity War. As well as the new library renovations and a tribute to Mr. Freeze. I'm Zara. And I'm Mason. And your news starts now. Well, have you been to the library lately? No, I haven't. But let's go look at the library renovation. The library is getting an entirely new makeover. I've been told that they're going to start replacing carpet as soon as they can once school is out. This carpet is about 30 years old. It's uh, been very good <laughs> use. We've gotten very good use out of it, but it's time for it to go. Um, we're going to be removing uh, the divider where students enter and exit from the, build, uh, from the library. Um, we're going to be getting new furniture, new tables, chairs. We're going to be creating some areas uh, that are for collaboration and blended learning and independent study. We're going to be getting new signage. Uh, we're just updating and giving it a fresh new look. Uh, they're expecting between the carpet and the, the furniture uh, about $25,000. I'm very excited about the renovation. Um, students enjoy coming to the library, but um, it's a little dated. Uh, people like to uh, be in spaces that make them feel comfortable and are warm and friendly. And you know, the colors are just outdated. We've also had a lot more teachers using the library this year. Um, you know, some teachers are in smaller classrooms, and so they need uh, more space uh, so that they can spread out or do learning stations. And I'm excited about the fact that we're going to have soft seating and different kinds of tables and chairs to accommodate the blended learning that a lot of our teachers are trying to do. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Let's go on with the rest of the news. Seniors need to check their laptops in the 15th through the 17th. Underclassmen will do the same the 22nd to the 24th. The choir is having auditions today at 3.30 for those interested. There will be a contest to decide the name of the new blended learning space. The deadline for names is this Friday. Those interested in a free fishing license from Fishing Club, see Mrs. Popescu in room 927 for more information. Stuco is having a Stuff the Bus event this for seminars interested. Each 10 items per seminar will get a chance to win a pizza party at the end of the week. FCCLA members that did the Sonic Card fundraiser, your cards and money are due to Ms. Mrs. Whitley by Thursday, May 10th. Spanish Club's Latin Dance Workshop is during seminar this Friday. Space is limited and sign up is required. Sign up in W20 for the, for, by this Thursday. Well, let's go check out a story about Mr. Freeze who's retiring this year. A teacher has decided to retire at the end of the school year. Let's learn more about his time at Seaman High School. It will be 28 years ago in September. I was hired after the school year began. I replaced uh, Mr. Venduska, who is a longtime principal here. He taught uh, U.S. history and U.S. government in E10, and he was hired to be the athletic director shortly after the school year started, and I was hired to replace him. And since then, I have pretty much enjoyed coming to work almost every day. The history teacher has had the opportunity to teach many classes over the years. I started out U.S. History, U.S. Government, and then I moved into uh, E1, which used to be the room of uh, Mrs. Ross, the counselor, and I taught U.S. History, U.S. Government, and then for the last probably 10 years it's been AP Government, Civil and Criminal Rights, and a philosophy class. Mr. Freeze has made many memories during the nearly 28 years he has been a history teacher at our school. I think just the opportunity to work with uh, a lot of different students, uh, the faculty that I've had to work with over the years, but the favorite memories are going to be just eating lunch with people in the East workroom and uh, probably winning state outdoor and track one year. The history teacher has no idea how he will spend his time in retirement, but he believes it is the right move for him to make. I have no idea, and I really don't have any idea. I don't have any particular plans or anything like that. I don't consider it retirement. I'm just kind of calling it quitting and thinking about doing something else. Freeze will miss the relationships he has made during his time in the school district. I'm certainly going to miss coming to work every day with people that I genuinely like and enjoy hanging around with and talking to. 
and I'm certainly going to miss people in my department, especially Mrs. Sittenauer. After 27 years, Mr. Freeze will be retiring from Seaman High School. If you see him around, make sure to wish him the best in his retirement. It'll be sad not having him around next year. I'll be back with the sports after this commercial break. Suco will be sponsoring an event called Stuff the Bus, where each seminar will be assigned a different supply this week from May 7th to 11th. Supplies include erasers, notebooks, crowns, and many more. All this will benefit the Boys and Girls Club, so be sure to donate supplies and help people in need. Are you 16 or older? Do you enjoy fishing? If so, sign up for a fishing license today with Mrs. Papescu in room 927. There are only 34 spots, so sign up quickly and get yours today. Boys interested in doing cross country next year can attend an information meeting Wednesday in room 910. Congrats to the boys tennis team for winning the 5A regional championship last Friday. There will also be an information meeting for the wrestling team this Wednesday in C3. Baseball and softball are playing tonight, as well as the girls' soccer. Go out and support them. Remember to get your sports physical done on the 12th at Cotton O'Neill. Let's head over to Zara with the weather. Here's your weather forecast. Right now it's 74 degrees and tonight it'll be 84 degrees. We have nice spring weather with highs in the upper 80s and 90s and lows in the upper 60s. Today it's pop singers Trisha Paytas' birthday as well as, as well as National Have a Coke Day. Now back to your anchors. Let's have a look at the largest movie of all time. Infinity War. Hey Mike's, I just saw Infinity War. Here's the rundown. Avengers Infinity War is a 2018 superhero movie based on the superhero team The Avengers. It's a sequel to 2012's The Avengers and 2015's Avengers Age of Ultron. Marvel and Disney started filming this movie back in 2015 until last July with a budget of $320 million. Basically, if you haven't seen it, which you should, the Avengers fight this guy called Thanos who wants these stones that control the whole universe, I think. We asked people around the school what they thought about it, and don't worry, this is a spoiler-free zone. Unlike Instagram. Are you a big Marvel fan? Uh, I mean, my brother made me watch all the movies, like, last week, so sure. Yeah, they aight. Absolutely, it's better than DC. Heck yeah. Yep. Yes. What was your favorite part of Marvel's Avengers Infinity War? When Spider-Man was on the bus and then he did the thing. That's spoilers, though. You know, I really liked the movie. There weren't a lot of Hawaiian shirts in it, but I think <laughs> everyone should wear a Hawaiian shirt on Tuesday. I really liked how Spider-Man was in it, and Hulk, and Iron Man, and they're all just great. I like the beginning of it. Who is your favorite character in it? Um, probably Thanos. I mean, I would say Deadpool, but I'll probably have to go with, like, the Hulk or something. Spider-Man. You know, I would say, is it Sandman? Is he <laughs> in there? In Spider Man, then, probably. Spider Man? Spider Man, also. Are you guys excited for part two? Hex, yeah, I am. Yeah. Of course. 
Uh, you know, I don't know if it'll be just as good. Yeah, I love Marvel. Part 2 is a sequel to Infinity War and has yet to be titled, but it's coming out next May. With there being another part a year away, some people felt like the first ending wasn't complete. How did you guys feel about the ending? Frog. Anyway, that's all we have for you today. And just a reminder, if you haven't seen it, I encourage you to see it. And if you have seen it, don't spoil it for other people. Now back to your anchors. I sure did enjoy watching Infinity War. Speaking of Infinity War, make sure to watch out for Thanos and Fortnite. We'll catch you back here next time, Vikes. Stay classy. Just bounce to this.